What's up guys, I'm DK Wrestler and in today's video we're opening up packs of the Cartoon Network Funko Series 1 NFTs. So let's get right to it. And of course like usual beforehand we got to look at the possible redeemables you could obtain while opening up these packs in which we have a total of six redeemables we could possibly get while opening up these packs today which the first one we're looking at is the Grail 999 pieces it is Eustish Bag from Courage the Cowardly Dog. I'm pretty sure I said that name right. I could be wrong. I, mean, I do think like a show like Courage the Cowardly Dog makes sense to have a figure as the Grail since I feel like it is one of the more obscure shows out of quite a bit of the ones that are even a part of this drop realistically. But then moving on to the legendaries, all limited to 1900 pieces. First off, we have ourselves Moltar from Space Ghost, and this seems pretty decent. I mean, there isn't too many Space Ghost pops to begin with, and I am a little bit surprised about Space Ghost being a part of this. With Cartoon Network, there are some Hanna-Barbera licenses that are on the network, so I feel like this is one of them because I remember there being Space Ghost a part of the Hanna-Barbera set. So it is a little bit weird that they added Space Ghost here instead of sliding in some sort of Cartoon Network show that you know for sure is Cartoon Network. And then the next legendary we have here is Ashy from Samurai Jack. Even though I'm gonna jinx myself, I am going to say that this is my least favorite pop of this entire set. And if you guys have watched these videos for quite a while, I've had this ongoing, I guess, streak of saying what my least favorite pop is of an NFT set. And that would be the redeemable that I pull when opening up these packs. But then ending off the legendaries in a high note, I believe, is the Robo Dexo 2000 from Dexter's Lab. This is pretty sweet. We barely get Dexter's Laboratory. This is one of those shows that you definitely know of when you think of Cartoon Network. And then we go to the newer rarity of the ultra rarity limited to 5,000 pieces. It is Samurai Jack. That's actually a pretty decent figure with like the scuffing involved in pretty decent uh, ultra figure. Maybe one of my favorite ultras, not going to lie, out of these sets that I've had that so far. And then last but not least, of course, the royalty 2,400 pieces pieces when you get the other cards that aren't ultra legendary or grail being common uncommon rare and epics it is freddy funko as johnny from ed ed and eddie and i know a lot of people are excited because this is the first sighting of an ed ed and eddie funko pop considering that there aren't any pops for that set yet i know that currently in the rumor mill right now there is supposed to be a set of ed ed and eddie pops coming out and for today's drop i had purchased four premium packs, all from the secondary market actually, because I felt with how well we did within the two-part video of the TMNT drop a couple of weeks ago, with the amount of wax P I obtained, I thought, you know what, throughout the month of September, I'm most likely just gonna buy packs on the secondary market, which won't put too much of a dent on my wallet realistically, and that way I can still make videos for you guys on this channel. And then like usual, we're gonna start off with the highest minted number all the way to the lowest, which we have ourselves number 16,268 out of 17,500. Pretty close to that highest mint number. So let's open up and see what we get in this first pack. Alrighty, so I actually really like the background of this card or these cards considering that it's based off of the plank from Ed, Ed and Eddie. So let's see what the first card of this very first pack is. So we got a rare Eustace bag, an uncommon Scaramouche. I remember this pop from San Diego Comic-Con. I can't exactly remember the year. Maybe it was FunCon, it could have been that year. An uncommon Robo Dexo 2000 an uncommon Space Ghost, an uncommon Dexter, a common Space Ghost, a common Chicken, of course, Cow and Chicken, a common Dee Dee, a common Freddy Funko as Johnny, a rare Dexter, an uncommon Cow, a common Courage, a common Freddy Funko is Johnny. An uncommon Freddy Funko is Johnny. A common Dee Dee. A common Dexter. And the possible last card behind here is 
an uncommon Scaramouche. Next pack we're gonna be opening up is number 8,368 out of 17,500. Let's open this up. First card we have here is an uncommon Moltar. Oh, it's doing that glitch thing. An epic Demongo seems very promising. I remember this pop from San Diego Comic-Con or it might've been FunCon a few years back. An uncommon Freddy Funko as Johnny. A common Samurai Jack. A common cow. An uncommon cow. An epic Demongo again. A common Space Ghost. A common Dexter, a common Robo Dexo 2000, a rare Dexter, a common Ashy, an uncommon Space Ghost, a common Chicken, an uncommon Robo Dexo, an uncommon Freddy Funko as Johnny. And the last card is a common Scaramouche. And the second last pack of this video, we got number 8,307 out of 17,500. Let's see if this is the pack where we pull a redeemable or multiple because you know, ultra figures and there's a huge rarity for that. So there could be a lot of times we pull those. <laughs> Alrighty, first card here is not actually a card. It is the Cartoon Network Funko Series 1 coin, which actually is pretty sweet. It's, of course, in the shape of the Mast 4 uh, Eustace bag, and it's got the Cartoon Network logo and the Drop and Funko logo on the back of it. So that's pretty decent, which, of course, like usual, the Series coin does not count for the 17 cards. So there still is, of course, 17 cards left to go. So let's see what officially is the first card of this second last pack. An uncommon Samurai Jack. A common Courage. Or sorry, that was a common Courage. An Epic Demongo again. This is the third time now that we have gotten a Epic Demongo. An uncommon Space Ghost. An uncommon Ashy. A rare Didi. Look at her just running around there trying to go into Dexter's lab there. A common Courage. An uncommon Moltar. A common Dexter. An uncommon Demongo. A common Cow. A common cow again. An epic Robo Dexo 2000. At least it's a different epic instead of Damongo for the third time, or in this case, it would have been the fourth time it have appeared again. An epic Moltar. This seems very promising. We're getting some epics, but would like to see at least an ultra figure, even though I would like to see maybe the Robo Dexo legendary. An uncommon Scaramouche. A common DD, and the final card behind here is an uncommon Eustish bag. So hopefully with this final pack of number 4,943 out of 17,500, that we actually can pull at least one redeemable to keep this streak on going. Come on, fingers crossed. Ugh, come on. <laughs> All right, first card, common Dexter, a rare cow, an uncommon Samurai Jack, a common Moltar, a common Aku, a common Eustace Bag, a common Aku, a common Scaramouche. Oh God, I'm not liking this pack at all. A common Aku again. Oh. Common Demongo. Stop giving me commons, damn it. 
Common Space Ghost. Oh, I gotta shut my mouth when saying stuff like that. Common Dexter. How many commons in a row was that? That had to have been about seven or eight. Ah. Common. Oh my God. This is terrible. Rare DD. All right. Better than the common, but not a redeemable. Uncommon cow. Uncommon Samurai Jack and the final card behind here. Oh God, I'm worried about this. Uncommon Eustace Bag. Of course, to end off this video, we must see what the redemption tracker is to see how close I would have been of completing the royalty. All right, so for the redemption tracker, of course, we didn't pull the Eustace Grail. We didn't get any of the legendaries where there was that very terrible Ashy or perhaps the Robo Dexto and what was it, Moltar. And then we didn't even get a Ultra Samurai Jack, which is really surprising. So once again, the ongoing streak that we had is officially over and a brand new streak hopefully starts when it comes to the alien drop in a few weeks. We had gotten 57.14% of the royalty completed with the four packs I had purchased. Anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. And if you enjoyed today's Cartoon Network Funko NFT video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your luck down below if you had purchased any packs. Did you do better than I did clearly? Or did you do as bad, I guess, by not pulling any redeemable? but I hope to see you guys in the next video on the channel. One, two, three, I'm out of here.